good morning, everyone. Um, we will be gathering in those larger numbers at some point because Sonoma County is going yellow next week. So we are all moving forward in some capacity. Um, most of you know Alicia. I think all of us maybe know Alicia, um, but we're thrilled to have her as our newest member to the network. Um, many of us get to interact with Alicia in other parts of our lives, but um, we're thrilled to have her here and be better. And I'm, of course, going to let her tell us a little bit about herself and her background and, and what she does every single day, which is a lot of different facets of um, photography and, and life. Um, so I don't want to, you know, kind of give it all away because she's got some fun things to share. And this is Alicia. Hi guys. Thanks for having me. So I'm Alicia Parks. I have been in Sonoma County for a very long time. Um, and I actually started becoming in love with photography as a really young kid. I was eight years old when I picked up my grandma's first camera. And um, Every time we went to church events, she would have me run around and take pictures. So at eight years old, I was like, this is the coolest thing on the planet. Um, and then life kind of took over after high school and um, I ended up in corporate America for a long time. And I was blessed enough to be able to start calling this my profession about 11 years ago. So um, I've been doing weddings uh, for a little over 11 years. Um, as most professional photographers, we start off with like friends and relatives that trust us enough to say, yeah, go ahead and shoot my wedding, even though you don't know what you're doing. Uh, so it's really nice to now have all of the background to um, feel really comfortable and confident and have a team that goes with me with I, when I do my weddings. Um, I also shoot all kinds of things, headshots. Um, I have a studio in downtown Santa Rosa on 2nd Street. Um, so I do headshots, high school seniors, families, almost everything except births and babies. <laughs> so um, for most of your photography needs, I can help you. And if I can't, I have awesome friends who do those other two things that I prefer to hand off. Um, I kind of want to share my why with you guys today. I don't think I've shared my why of why weddings became my big calling, but uh, weddings are beautiful. Of course, almost everyone knows that when you go to a wedding, everyone is dressed up and looks beautiful and they're so excited and watching a love story come to life is just a really magical time. But I actually started wanting to photograph weddings because um, my husband and I actually celebrated our 15 year anniversary yesterday. Bless you, Bianca. Um, so yesterday it was 15 years and obviously 15 years ago, I didn't know a ton about wedding photography. So I happened to be at a wedding show um, I saw someone, this was, this was, I'm aging myself, but this was back before digital was a thing. So this was film days and um, the photographer was really good at Photoshop. So he had a lot of like before and afters, like, oh, this is the photo and this is what I can do to it. And there was, there was good work, but that was kind of the extent of what I got from him was, oh, these are pretty and, and he's good at Photoshop and this is a good price. So let's just do this. Um, but then it came to the wedding day and he was alone. Of course, most photographers shoot weddings alone, which I personally don't. Um, and so there's a ton of moments that were missed. Um, he also posed us facing into the sun. So like half of the photos I'm squinting or my eyes are like closed. <laughs> so there was all these things that like, you just don't think about when you're, when you're a new bride and when you have no idea about photography. So I try to educate my clients going into it that, you know, looking at the work is one piece of it, but knowing that your photographer is gonna know how to lay out your dress, help you bustle your dress even sometimes. Um, that moment before the toast, there are so many events. Um, I've had three weddings in the last month and every single one of them, when it was time for toasts, you know, the wait staff is pouring wine and pouring champagne. And then you've got, the bride and groom table that still have like dirty dishes on it. So I'm like clearing plates to clean the table. Not when you have a great coordinator, the great coordinators will do that. But there's a lot of times where I'm like bussing tables to make sure it looks good for their, for their toast shots. So there's lots of things that go into the behind the scenes part of the photography. Okay guys, I'm gonna play this for you.
All right. I did just kind of pull together that slideshow primarily showing weddings and couples because that is what I'm hoping to um, gain this year. I know all of you know that weddings were almost non-existent for 2020. So um, I'm hoping to fill up my calendar with that. But of course, as I said, I do all kinds of other things. So um, keep me in mind for that as well. Thank you.